Welcome into another edition of Film Session. This week, I wanted to take a look at a player that's making a strong push for Defensive Player of the Year, Jake Ryan. This young man plays all over the field, but I want to show you a few different defenses. This is a 3-4. You saw the three defensive linemen, the four linebackers. You're going to see Ryan here at the top. Now, his feet doesn't give any indication that he's going to be rushing the passer, but he is. That tells me that he has great quickness because he doesn't have to really give away the fact that he's going to be rushing. How about 4-3? In this situation, four defensive linemen, four line, three linebackers, they're going to be playing zone in this situation. You see he's out on the hash. So when you're playing zone against four wide receivers, he's going to look right into the backfield, realize quickly that it's going to be a run. Watch him get underneath the wide receiver and come in and make the play. Very instinctive linebacker. How about in this situation, 4-3 base defense once again, four down, three linebackers. What are you going to do versus the run? You have to take on some big offensive linemen, so that means you got to have pad level. You have to be low. Low man wins all the time in football. But watch the leverage. He's pushing them away. He's underneath his pads, lower body technique, using the rip technique as well to keep that outside arm free to make the tackle. Now, what are you going to do versus pass? Third and five, passing situation. This is nickel. This is important now. You see the four players here, very important. You're going to see Ryan at the bottom. You're going to see Colbax is responsible for forcing the outside. Roll on the top side is going to take an outside charge. That outside charge is important because the left guard now looks to his left. And that's just enough time for Ryan to come back underneath. Take a look again. He's unbelievably quick, stays close to the defensive lineman. He doesn't get the sack here, but this is what I call playing snap to whistle. You bounce up off the ground and he makes the tackle. When I hear a young man being described as unorthodox, a freakish athlete, it tells me one thing, he's a special player. Back to you guys.